Well, hello, and God bless you. Hey, Joseph Romero with you again, the social evangelist, and with Chains Off Ministries. Oh, boy, it's always a pleasure to come on here, share a quick word with you. You know, today, I know with all that's been going on, people need encouragement. And I want to encourage you to stay. God's given me a word for you to this day about worry and not to worry. But yet it's so easy to say, don't worry. And yet we look at circumstances. We look at what's going on in the world and we tend to worry, don't we? <laughs> and we worry about a lot of things, don't we? Well, hey, let me, let's go to Luke chapter 12 for a second. And I like to call this the do not worry chapter, but here, here's what it says in verse 22. You ready? Then he said to his disciples, therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. Life is more than food and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap which have neither storehouse or barn, and God feeds them. Oh, how much more valuable are you than the birds? And verse 25 says, And which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his statue? If you are then not able to do the least, why are you anxious for the rest? Oh, and it goes on further, but right there, just right there, we heard so much, right? About worrying about our life, we worry about what we're gonna eat, we worry about our bodies. Oh my gosh, what we're gonna put on. You know, for some of us, we just have a lot of worry. And you know what I tend to think is, you know, I, I trust the Lord every day for my provisions. I trust the Lord to provide the food that's on my table. I provide to provide the, the income I need to keep a roof over our head. My, my, my. Hey, and if you're new here and this is the first time you're hearing us, hey, please like and subscribe to this channel. We desperately want to grow this channel and that helps us to get the word out to more people who need this encouraging messages that we're releasing every week and, and sometimes many times a week. So uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. But let's, let's conti continue here. We are more valuable than birds and God takes care of them. You are more valuable than birds, my friend. God knows you have needs. God knows. And, but somehow it seems like we, we start getting so busy and providing, so busy at working, so busy doing many things that we lose sight of the provider. We lose sight who, who our father is in heaven. You know, when, when Israel was in the wilderness, God provided for them. You know, they gave Moses a hard time. You know, did you bring us out here to die? You know, they're, they for a moment, they were thinking they were better off with Pharaoh because they knew where their food was going to come from. And sometimes taking a step of faith is exactly that. It's a step of faith. And you may be wondering, where's my meal going to come from? Well, if you trust the Lord, you know that God and you believe God is guiding your steps. Well, guess what? Everything's going to work out just fine. And that doesn't mean everything's going to be like a rose garden. It doesn't mean everything's going to be a five star resort. No, but, but you're not going to die. OK, there are times where we do go through rough times. We, I mean, there's times where sometimes we even lose everything that we have. And sometimes God allows that to happen to teach us a very valuable lesson. Because sometimes we put our heart and our value so much on treasures that we lose sight of the treasure provider, the one who gives us life and gives us life abundantly. Always make God your treasure and trust in him to provide for you every day. And I promise you, life will go 
better. Don't you dare start to worry. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. And lean not upon your own understanding. Hey, this is Pastor Joe. I am the social evangelist. I just want to encourage you. Don't worry. God is the way maker. Okay? So please like and subscribe. And we'll get another word out to you real soon. Bye-bye now.